So in light of the recent CSGO update, everybody is kind of scrambling around trying to sell off all their skins, and everybody in the gambling community is really trying to figure out what they want to do in the coming months. Now while I do have some gambling content on my channel, I like to think that the main bulk of my content is actually related to CSGO, so I think that I kind of have a little bit more of a unique take on this update just because of the content that I do upload. So today I wanted to go over the statistical information and kind of tell you guys my take on how long I think CSGO has before it dies off as a game. If we go to the website CSGO Analyst, which is like the main price guide for CSGO skins, pretty much any skin that you click on that has usually a pretty set price uh, is going to be in a downtrend right now due to the update that was put out by Valve on March 29th. In case you've been living under a rock, this update caused all CSGO items received in trade to have the same 7 day trade cooldown as items purchased in game or via the Steam community market. This means that if you trade something to somebody, it takes 7 full days before they can trade it to somebody else. So if you give somebody your knife to use in a game, Game, they have to wait a week before they can send it back to you. This is a huge blow to trading, this is a huge blow to gambling, and this is a huge blow to the community as a whole. Now I'd like to sit there and be biased and say that because Valve put in these trade restrictions, it's gonna kill CSGO and you know nobody's gonna be able to trade or gamble anymore, that's really not the case. While it may be true that there was a lot of money to be made through gambling or trading, the numbers really don't show that CSGO is dying. And I'll get into that in a second. Now, I do think it was kind of scummy for Valve to brush some of their most devoted fans under the rug, uh, because a lot of the people who are most invested in this game are people who are just into trading. I knew quite a few different people who had more than $1,000 inventories who simply traded and didn't gamble at all. And to be honest, I feel bad for these people because they're gonna be affected the most by this. You know, there was more money to be made in gambling than there was in trading, and there's no denying that. However, the price of skins more directly impacts the people who are just in the game for trading than it does the people who just wanted to coin flip their skins. Sure, the inventory price might go down the same, but these people who invested all this money just to trade and have fun in the game now have no way to get a return investment, and since a lot of their profit was gained from putting in long hours of hard work trying to upgrade their skins, their return on investment based on the time they put in is not going to be remotely the same as somebody who goes onto a gambling site and, and wins big on a roulette or in a coin flip. Now, I feel like I can kind of say these things because I was pretty involved with both communities. I did do a lot of gambling stuff, but I also did a lot of trading. I was very involved in trade servers on CSGO, and to be honest, since all these trade restrictions got put in place, I don't even know if I want to play the game again, let alone trade. Anyway, so aside from prices going down, another thing that I've kind of noticed over time is just the Twitch numbers. Now, Twitch.tv, you guys all know it's a live streaming service, and as you can see, CSGO is like nowhere to be found in this list. Now, depending on the time of day, this does change, but pretty much always CSGO is like the fourth or fifth most watched game. Now, I haven't been in the CSGO community for a super long time, but I know for a fact that when I got into this community in late 2015, CSGO was absolutely on top. It was CS and League of Legends. Those were the two most watched games on Twitch. Now, I know that the Battle Royale games, you know, kind of took over, but even still, IRL streams and whatever the hell this game is and Hearthstone and Dota, they've all kind of overshadowed CSGO. <clears throat> and once again, I know it depends on who is streaming, but it used to be no contest. CSGO was always either first or second to League of Legends. Now, this doesn't necessarily indicate that the game is dying, but I think that the community has become a lot more separated and kind of closed off from itself. And people don't really have an interest in watching these games anymore. They'd much rather go and play Fortnite with their friends. I feel like as a whole, esports has kind of declined for CSGO. You know, the majors always do well, and they usually do end up as the most watched thing on Twitch that day. But I think that, you know, as a whole, the game just isn't talked about like it used to be. And I think a big part of this is because of the lack of updates. In the past two years, we've had one operation, and to be honest, honest, it wasn't that good of an operation. I think that the thing that Valve fails to understand is the actual impact on the game that the community has, specifically the figureheads of the community, like the large YouTubers, much, much bigger than myself, people like Anomaly and McSkillet, people who have kind of like left their mark on the CS community, as well as all of the pro players. I feel like a lot of these people don't really upload CS as much as they used to anymore. You know, I feel like the content is changing a lot with this game, and I think a lot of people are kind of sick of the game just because of the lack of new content that's been added to it. And with that lack of promotion from bigger influencers in the community, I honestly think that this game may fall out of relevancy. A good example of this can be the game Cuphead. Cuphead came out in September of last year, and it was a great game. It was super well received, and it was on top for months. And just as quickly as it came into relevancy, it fell right out. The reason for its massive success was due to critical acclaim, but also because it was one of the most played games on Twitch. The influencers had the biggest impact on the game's relevancy, and once they all beat it and moved on, everybody else did as well. Regardless of what you think is good or bad, and regardless of whether you enjoy a game or not, 
its relevancy is always going to depend on the player base. And like it or not, the bigger the people playing the game, the more people are going to watch the game. If I just refresh this really quick, you can see there is 505,000 people playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive in the last 38 minutes. What I'm on right now is steamcharts.com. You guys can check this out. I'll link it in the description. And it shows the player base of every month from the beginning of the game, starting in July 2012. So right here, it's going to show the average players. And right here, it's going to show the gain. The gain is the amount of players more or less than the amount of players from the previous month. As you can see, in February, there were 382,000 people. And in March, there were 354,000. This gives a negative gain of 28,186. As you can see, that number is going down in the last 30 days to be only 12,870. Now, this update did come out in March, but it was on the 29th of March, the very end of the month. So I really don't think that this negative spike can correlate with that update specifically. You know, it may have had a few thousand people as a result of that abandon the game. However, since it was at the end of the month, I don't think it's fair to say that the trade update was directly responsible. Also, in the last year or so, the game has become pretty volatile and it, it gains players rapidly and loses them just as fast. It really just depends on what's going on in the pro scene and with the influencers showing off the game. However, even though in March of 2018, CSGO lost 28,000 concurrent players, their average players for March was 354,270.3, the point three being somebody in a wheelchair. In February, it was 382,457, and in the last 40 minutes, it was 505,000. I don't know what caused this jump in the game, but people are coming back. If we actually pull the graph back, you can see that there is a significant dip in players. Now, this may not stay concurrent, it could just be a downtrend in the game, but I do think that this update did have a lot to do with it. I know I said I wasn't going to sit here and say that I think the game is going to die, but the numbers don't lie, boys. You got pranked. In all actuality, I think CSGO is on a downward spiral. I think it has been for a very long time. I don't think the game is going to die off completely, and I think it will have a loyal fan base for years to come. However, with the lack of new content and now all of these restrictions on trading, which is really what kept the game going, not just for the sake of players, but also for the sake of influencers like gamblers and trading YouTube and people that just made overall content relative to skins are kind of all gonna have to branch off and do other things. A lot of gambling YouTubers are already using PUBG skins. That happened the day after they put in this trade restriction. And I think that it's really gonna cause people to stray away from CSGO being in the spotlight. In all actuality, I don't think the game is gonna die off completely. I think that everyone who thinks it is, is just kind of over-exaggerating, but the game is going to significantly decrease in player count in the next year. That's my take on it, at least. Anyways, guys, if you have your own opinion on this, feel free to leave it in the comments section. Just be respectful to each other everybody's entitled to their own opinion and i hope that you guys can you know respect that with each other in the comments below and have you know a decent conversation let's open a dialogue about this i'm interested to see what you guys think do you think the game is going to die or do you think it's going to keep going strong and people coming into the game just are going to have to deal with not being able to conveniently trade skin anyways guys i just wanted to kind of share my take with you and show you the numbers i hope that this video made sense and i hope it was interesting to watch like i said i am kind of sick i do have a scam troll video coming soon i've just been sick so i haven't finished it um i will see you guys very very soon with a new video and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you taking time out of your day to talk to me and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day